Hey there, how's it going? David in ARC here, and today we're talking UI apps. And I get, a, I get questions a lot about that. How do you use them? How do you enable them? All that kind of good stuff. So let's just jump into this. First thing I'm going to do is hit escape to bring up this uh, main menu here. And I'm going to go to the UI apps button. From there, then you're going to see this little green box with a pencil. Click on that. Then this actually allows you to... Uh, modify what you see on your screen and where. So in my case, I actually have a UI app open already for the uh, train station map. I'm going to just close that just this, this way. Yours probably looks close to this, but I, I, I do have some extra things uh, going on. First of all, if you want to move something around, so for example, if you don't like wherever the speedometer is, then you can uh, point your mouse into the middle of that where the four arrows are, and you can drag it wherever you want it to go. All right. The other thing is that you'll notice in apps is in the lower right corner, there's an arrow, so you can resize it. Now, some apps resize better than others, so you just have to be wary of that when you are moving stuff around and changing the way things uh, look and behave. As a matter of fact, I've already messed mine up a little bit. <laughs> so, oh well, whatever. Close, close enough. I can always change it later if I want to. So, that is how you modify or, or move around the apps you already have. But what if you want to add some more? You'll notice that there's an orange button with a plus. Click on the plus. Here, it'll take you to any of the AI app or UI apps that come with the game or any that you have downloaded. So generally speaking, if it's got the little BeamNG icon, then it came with the game. If it does not have the icon, like the little DVD thing here, then it did not come with the game. Now, a lot of times uh, folks ask me, well, how, I can't find such and such you know, UI app. How do I find a certain particular app? The easiest way is over on the right-hand side where it's got filters. You can click in search, and then you can search for what you want. So for example, airspeed. Now, uh, with Airspeed, uh, you can pick this one. Now, I already have this one installed, but just for the sake of argument, you find the UI app that you want, click on it, and then it adds it to the screen. Now, where it adds it to the screen, to me, seems completely random, so you have to look around and find it. Uh, as it turns out, it's over here for my case, and you'll notice that now here is the digital Airspeed. All right. Now, I already have it installed here, but, you know, hey, if I want two of them, then why not? So I'm going to just for now drop this right here. Then you're going to click the green box with the check mark to say that you're done. And you'll notice that that airspeed indicator is on the screen. So at that point, then you can just hit escape a couple of times. That'll get you back into your main window. Hit the gas and go. By the way, people also often ask me, what's the difference between airspeed and the speedometer? The airspeed is the actual speed that the vehicle is traveling. The speedometer is wheel speed. So I could be crashed out, and if I've got a wheel that's still going, and that's probably not going to show me, yeah. Um, <laughs> but if my wheel were still spinning, uh, and, and it's, I'm not exactly sure which wheel it's tracking or exactly how that works. Um, but this could still be saying, you know, 50 miles an hour, but my airspeed is the actual speed of the vehicle itself. There's a lot of blue smoke magic that goes into this game. And that's definitely one of them. I was going to see if I could get this to go. It's, it's not necessarily easy. Generally, I'll tell you where you notice it. Um, well, like if I do a jump, right? Okay, so for a moment, right, I'm going 135 miles an hour according to the speedometer because I've got my foot on the accelerator. But you notice that the airspeed really didn't change. We'll try that one more time just so you can see what I'm talking about. As I'm accelerating, watch when my vehicle jumps. Watch the difference between the speedometer and the airspeed, right? And that's pretty accurate in a car. I mean, you know, if you're, <laughs> you're going to take a jump, when you catch the air, if you're still hitting the accelerator, the car thinks you're going that, you know, however fast your accelerator's ramping things up versus how fast you're actually going. So there you go. All right, so there's one. Uh, likewise, if, we, if I want to remove uh, 
an a, a UI app. Again, I hit Escape, go up to the UI apps, hit the little pencil. Then I can come down here and click the little red X on the app that I no longer want. It disappears. If I want to add another one, oops, I'm sorry. If I want to add another one, I click the plus. And notice that my search is still in effect. So I can go in here and I can take out my search and then I can search through or look through or whatever I want to do to add a particular app. So for example, traffic, let's just, let's just say we do the traffic mod. All right. Or the traffic uh, UI. <laughs> traffic used to be a mod. Okay. So here is the traffic UI. Uh, for the sake of argument, you know what? I'm just going to put it, mm, I'll put it over here. So again, I hit the check mark. I hit escape to get back to my game. And here is the traffic UI. So it asks me how many cars do I want? Do I want to spawn them? Do I want to delete them? Do I want to set a speed limit or keep it automatic? Uh, what is the spawn rate? What mode? So traffic means that they act like traffic. Random means they drive randomly, whether they pay attention to traffic signals or whether they pay attention to each other, whatever. They're going wherever. Flee means they run away from you. Chase means they chase you. Follow is chase, but they don't try to take you out. Chase means they're going to try to hunt you down. Follow means exactly that. Stop does not disable traffic. All that means is that they are that the, all the traffic just stops where it is and doesn't go anywhere. So, uh, so I'm just gonna leave this on traffic, uh, awareness, uh, and that's whether or not they detect other vehicles so that they don't crash into them. And then I'm not real familiar with debug mode. I'm sure that keeps a log of stuff somewhere. So if I wanted to spawn in say five cars, I can hit spawn. When you spawn in vehicles, <clears throat> it takes a little time for things to, uh, pop up here. So just give it a moment for your game to get a hold of itself and spawn in vehicles. So now we see that we have the cars spawned in, but I didn't actually start them yet. Right? So if I hit uh, the start button here and now traffic is rolling. The reason why you might want the UI app is just that in real time, I can decide that I'm going to go by here. Watch this. Okay, so now I'm going to hit chase. And now they are all chasing me. Right? So they're going to try to take me out. Oh! Should not have slammed on my brakes. Come on. Well, let's back up out of here. They're all crashing into each other. So we can use that to skedaddle and get out of dodge. Are they coming? <clears throat> yep, I see them behind me. Oops, not paying attention. You should probably always be looking for... Whoa! <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the other things that uh, you kind of notice there, one thing about AI is that... Uh, or uh, traffic is that traffic will spawn based on where you're going and what you're doing. So with traffic, the vehicles will spawn over time. So you're not stuck with the same vehicles all the time. So the one thing, uh, the other takeaway about UI apps is that uh, w different UI apps have different features. You'll figure that out as you play with them and you and you use them in the game. Um, just for uh, an, another example, I have this flood controller, which we looked at in another video. And so I can come up here, since we do have ocean water in this map, <laughs> I can enable the flood, and the floods are a-coming to the west coast. Little by little. It's very slow. So uh, as we saw in the last one, I can ramp this up some. Oh, okay. Well, that that's a little faster than I anticipated, but there it is. <laughs> We've got a massive flood taking over the West Coast. Oh, that is that is so so cool though. I did want to. Uh, <laughs> this is totally not related. F feel free to stop the video at any time. <laughs> but I do want to. Like, if I drop the barge in there, I don't know how this is going to work. 
Oh. <gasps> that is so cool. Yes, it did. Whoops. It, uh, it, it landed right on the water. <laughs> it, uh, it, that's funny. It, it feels like I'm moving down, but I'm not. The water is rising. Rising up straight to the... Look at that. And then, of course, we can have it recede back to where it once was. So there you go. That is how to use UI apps in Beam NG with, well, a little bonus action there because why not? Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, 7220 Gamer, and the Maestro of Madness for supporting the channel on Patreon and through channel memberships. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your comments, your feedback, all that good stuff. I appreciate it so much. I'm David in ARC. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, that that that's not good. That that's not good at all. Oh, it's, it's, some somebody's gonna have to do something about that. <laughs>